you know, where, where's the fairness in that? They don't even provide ported johns or dumpsters for these homeless camps. Then they come in and they complain about the sanitation. Well, wh I wonder why. And they... You might remember this video of the protesters who were arrested in the front yard of the Columbus City Attorney's personal residence. This is the one with the police liaison who talked extremely slow. I understand that, the but they're not listening to you, so I'm going to talk to them directly in hopes they listen to me to avoid an arrest because we don't want to arrest them. We want them to obey the law and leave this property. Like I said before, I'm the police liaison, so anything okay. that you want to tell them, tell me, and I will tell them. And we have. We've already explained it to you, and they're not listening to you, is what I'm saying. So like I said before, if there is anything that you want to tell them, mm -hmm. you can talk to me, and I will say it to them. Okay. So is there anything that you want to tell them right now for me to they tell them? They need to leave, or they're going to be placed under arrest. Okay. Everyone who watched that video had a good laugh at the insanity on display, but many were confused as to what exactly were they protesting. This protest was organized by this man, Joe Motil, who happens to be running for mayor against the current Columbus mayor, Andrew Ginther. Mr. Model is upset that the city of Columbus has been taking down homeless camps, so he set up a mock homeless camp in the front yard of Columbus City Council President Shannon Hardin and sent his minions to the house of the city attorney to do the same. He says he's protesting the fact that the city of Columbus is taking down homeless camps across the city rather than installing showers and toilet facilities. There's more, but I'll let him explain that himself. How you doing, man? What's your name? Joe. Joe, I'm Mike. What's going on, man? Pardon me? I said, what's going on? Uh, Civil Disobedience Act. We were protesting the lack of uh, the city doing anything for the homeless and the low-income people for okay. housing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Have you been to council uh, meetings and stuff before and raise any awareness or just curiosity? Absolutely. She's saying that mid-September there was going to be a sweep? Right. I was unaware of that, but okay. Okay. And is it specifically for that or just all? Mount Street, eastbound, at okay. your children's hospital. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Camp Shameless, what they know to most people. Okay. So what is your goal here today, tonight? Trying to get their attention. Okay. Uh, I think you got yeah. it for sure. Yeah. Well, you know what? The, the problem is that they want to talk, but meetings and things are useless. Yeah. <laughs> it's just talk. And it's time that... Shannon Harden, uh, Coleman's puppet, does something, and uh, they don't have the courage or the guts to to take action. Coleman, on who's own. Coleman? Coleman, the last mayor? The last mayor. Okay, I just. That's the one who basically put him in office. So, yep. Okay. We need we need something done, and it's not getting any better. It's getting worse. As you guys know, evictions are on the rise, foreclosures are on the rise, uh, apartment rates, home uh, rentals are going up and up and up. And these people are sitting on hundreds of millions of dollars, and they're not doing a, doing anything with it with the American Rescue Plan money, and they're just sitting on it. They're giving eight hundred seventy-five thousand dollars to the Capital Improvements District downtown for three public bathrooms outside. You know, where where's the fairness in that? They don't even provide ported johns or dumpsters for these homeless camps. Then they come in and they complain about the sanitation. Well, wh I wonder why. And they've spent one hundred fifty thousand to two hundred thousand dollars since 2019 to remediate, as they call it, or bulldoze these homeless camps. So that's what we're here for. Okay. I, I think I just asked you if you've ever been outside. Of, have you ever been in the chambers or in, and let them know? I don't know who you that's are, okay. so that's, that's, that's why okay. I'm at. You no, just, dozens yeah. of times. Okay, I don't know who you are. So. No, that's quite all right. Oh, okay. quite all right. He probably knows who you are then, right? Oh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I've been involved with city government for 37 okay. years. Okay. I've run for office several times. Okay. What, what's your full name? Joe Motil. Motil? M-O-T-I-L. Okay. I'm a candidate for mayor next year as well. Okay. Well, all right. That's that's good. All right. I am unaware of you, but now that's I am. Okay. I, I no, got you. No, no. So obviously he doesn't want you here. So what we're trying to determine is what 
what your intention about being out here and which you just explained and you got their attention now what we're going to stay here until he comes out and, and uh, accepts our demands okay and he's he's been given the demands by the gentleman over there and uh which for, the, for this particular homeless camp by who? Or him? and so that you know and he has a list of those demands and uh he said he'd be willing to talk but again meetings and talking isn't getting anywhere have you had a direct meeting with him they have an, an individual they meeting have another with him? one i believe maybe tomorrow but again nothing's being done so their their uh way of resolving these types of issues is bulldozing these camps and removing these people mm -hmm. that's how then they just move to another camp and yeah. then they bulldoze that that one so you know again there's funds out there to be uh, that they can be using they're not using them for this they could be creating tiny homes transitional housing things of that nature but they're just sitting on a gold mine and they're not using it as they should for low-income people and the homelessness okay. and we're sick of you know we're sick of it and they know it ha has he come out at all today and yes, talked he to has. any of you he did yeah. you said he did talk to you yeah yeah he threatened us yeah. What did he say? He said he's going to call the police. Okay. How long have you guys been out here? It's 640 now. What's that? Two, two hours. Two hours. Yeah. Okay. Did he come out right away? Yeah. Okay. And, and he said he's going to call the police? Yeah, his partner did too. And uh, yeah. And I said, fine, go ahead. We're staying. And he, we said, we want to talk. We want to hear you commit to this. And he won't. He says, this isn't the way I do business. And, I, and we said, yeah, we know how you do business. You have meetings that are meaningless. So, unless it's with, uh, Les yeah, yeah, unless it's with a developer or, yeah. or some or AEP Jerry or uh, corporate Columbus or somebody like that. See if nationwide, Jerry gives, na gives this permission. Yeah, nationwide insurance or Michael Coleman or somebody from the Columbus partnership. Well, I get it, I understand it, but you also got to understand this is not the is this is not the uh, appropriate location to, to do something. And, like, you know, to, to civil, as with, you guys know, civil disobedience has been going on for, for, oh, yeah. for centuries. Oh, I get it. I mean, I get and, it. And this is, you know, what else are we going to do? We're, we're tired of them not taking action. Yeah. Okay. So this is about, this is an act of civil disobedience is what we're doing. That's why we're here. And that's why the other, uh, in, so there's somebody in front of Zach Klein's and there's somebody in front of Shayla Favors house. Right now? I'm, I'm sure, yes. Okay. And it's they've already arrested, time, the, I don't think, we they've already arrested the people at Klein's. And we don't know what's taking place at favors yet. Okay. So yeah, they've already arrested people at clients' house. Okay. City attorney. Well, ultimately, I don't want that to happen. I don't want anybody to get arrested. Okay. But I also don't want a person's house or any person's house to not ha to have people on it that aren't, you know, invited here, aren't supposed to be here. You know I what I mean? Understand. So. I understand. Well, uh, we're gonna stay. So. LT, do you want to meet? Yeah. If you want to talk to him, yeah. If you want to talk to him and. Okay. Well, do you want, since I talked to him earlier, you want me to, I'll talk to him. Yeah, and just kind of let him know. Okay, guys, I talked to him. He's not going to come out, you know, and talk to you guys. He's like, there's a way to conduct business, and it's not on my personal property. So I get that. I said, okay. I said, well, I'll let them know. I said that he did have, where is he? He did have a list of things. I assume you know what the list is of issues to talk about. Right. And he said, I get it. Um, but there's a time and place, and this is not. I said, okay. I get it. And he said they are supposed to have it. He is not. They said, I forgot his, the person's name, who he said was supposed to have a meeting tomorrow. Who, who, do you know who that was? He said somebody. He said that in there? He said it wasn't him, but there was supposed to be a meeting tomorrow. There is there is a meeting tomorrow involving. That young woman over there, whole, she made a with about the meeting. Yeah. Hey, ma'am. Hey, what, what was the meeting tomorrow? Who was that with? Um, that's with Shayla Favors office. Okay. Okay, Faber's office. Okay, he did, he wasn't sure, so he knew it wasn't him, but he was aware there was a meeting tomorrow. Okay. I said, okay. I said, well, obviously they have an opportunity tomorrow to bring these issues up. I don't know if you guys are all going tomorrow or what's going on, um, but this is not the, 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 the place for it. Okay. I know you've said they've arrested Klein, and we don't want to make any arrests. Okay. But you cannot be on his his property, uh, you know, uninvited. Okay. I understand. Now you can certainly be on the street and stand right there all night long. Right. You know, civil disobedience and you know, nonviolent. And and he was certainly okay with that too, but he just didn't want you on the property. And I explained how we our procedure. Okay, just like I'll explain it to you. Sure. Okay, which I'm sure you're probably well aware of our what what our procedure is. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is just ask you guys to either 
leave completely if you want, or just go right up to the street or the public domain area, like the ditch towards the street. If you do that, we're out of your hair. Right. Or your, some hair. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's it. If not, you'll get cited for trespassing. Okay. Okay. And that's kind of where we are. So I'll leave it up to you, however you want, route you want to go, but you can't be up, up in his house and Gary. up Gary. here. Yes. And like I said, we and we have no problem with that. I think it. I think it. I think by being in the in the public space over here, by moving it 10 feet, you can still make a statement, and you're still and you're in public space, and it still makes quite a statement. That way, you're here. Okay, right. and nobody gets cited, nobody gets arrested, or any of that stuff. And I don't want anybody to get arrested because, you know, I hear what you're saying with what's going what's going on or, or lack of what's going on right and the change that needed is needed and if we can resolve that and if we can move you out there great and if you if we can convince you hey just go home for the night and meet tomorrow that's great too right. you know and it's up to you guys we'll, we'll kind of go with that so were you able to hear about the uh, moving just a few feet in order to be able to stay without having to worry about the trespass issue Doesn't matter to me. i mean that that way you guys can be out here i mean it is a beautiful night and this is a quiet area and you guys are obviously nonviolent and it's civil disobedience, and I get it. And I, I think it's a good option because you still draw attention to what your cause is. You know, he may not be comfortable with it that you being right outside the house, but he was okay with it because it's public area. Right. Um, and I get it. The whole point is to make him uncomfortable and that you're, you know, you're here to, to raise awareness. But I think just being right here is also raising pretty good awareness. So. Balls in your court, okay? If you, if you don't leave from the, his his property, you get cited for trespassing, okay. okay? And then if you go right here, you're not, but you're still making the same point, so right. kind of up to you, okay? Yeah. So, and it's just you two, obviously they're okay, just being in the street, or right. the three that are with you, or four? Uh, okay, three. okay. I don't know who the other one is. Okay, so it's up to you, so. Okay. We're and we're, we're okay with whatever? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, if you're going to stay, you're going to get cited. Okay. Understand. And then we kind of, we have to go from there. Gary, you understand? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. So you guys are going to stay put? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, you are going to get cited then. Okay. For the trespassing, and we'll kind of go from there. Okay. okay. Yep. All right. We'll go that route. You got your ID on you? Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, it's just you two, them out there. And Correct. Fine. Yeah, they can be out there. Yep. All right, man. So, like I explained before, this is a criminal trespassing charge. Okay, we asked you to, if you leave, you, you're not. So this is a citation. You have a court date of September 8th, which is a week from Thursday. It's a week from Thursday, 9 o'clock. Okay, criminal trespassing charge. Here's all your information, the city code, criminal trespassing, uh, you, uh, the address where it occurred, your address, just our CPD incident number, your license number. This is the narrative. Uh, without privilege to do so, you remain on the land of Martin Zachrich, the owner of 56 Woodridge. Okay, 5600 Woodridge. My name, signature, notarized. That's all it is. The back of the pink one, which will be your copy, check mark. Uh, personal appearance is required. Okay. Uh, so I'm serving it to you here personally. All right. You put uh, September 8th. Correct. Personal appearance required, right? Yes. Yeah, back. Okay. Yes, correct. All right. So what I need you to do is just sign here. It's not an admission of guilt. It's just saying you're getting your copy of it, and you'll you'll have a copy of it, and that you promise to appear in court on the eighth. Nine o'clock. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is it not working on that? Yeah, you know it then. Probably on the clipboard for this. You got the sign here. Okay. Styrofoam. Yeah. Here. Have you had one of these citations before? Not this time. Not this time. Have you been with Franklin County Courts before? Yeah. Okay. Do you know where Nine to go? Years ago. Yeah, I think so. 375. 375 yeah. 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 So this is yours. Okay. Any questions for me? Yes. Okay. Uh, so if we decide to stay here, you gonna come back and give us another trespassing or what? Yeah, well, once he's done issuing that, I'll explain that. Okay. Okay. Well, Any other questions? Yeah, wait, I can just. No, just I'll, I'll, I'll wait till he's, okay. Uh, yeah, till he's done. Okay, so obviously you've both been uh, issued citation for the criminal trespass. Okay, the city code for the criminal trespass. Okay, you both have a court date of September 8th, next a week from Thursday. 
and you have to appear in court. It's an M4, okay? So that's where we stand. We're done. We're issuing you the citation. As soon as we get your license back to you, you guys are free to go, okay? If you decide to stay, we can then take further action, which means arrest, or if you guys go, you go. Or you still have the option to go in the public domain area and sit right there. You have your citation, and then we're out. That's it, okay? So you can... So the same kind of options as before, it's just now you have a citation, but with that, if you decide not to do anything more than what you're doing here, we then can arrest you for the same, the state will arrest you for the state charge of criminal trespass. This is still an M4 as well. So then we, would, then we would actually go to jail from there. That's kind of where we are now, so. That's all, so that's your options. You can obviously leave with your citation. Leave, meaning go right here in the public area with your citation, or be arrested and actually physically go to jail and get another uh, charge of criminal, state charge of criminal trespassing. What's the difference between this charge and another charge? So that's the city, the city code okay. charge. Okay. So the state charge is we just classify as criminal trespassing, and then we have refused to leave after we're asking you to leave again. But it's just a state charge. So what is this? An M1? That's an M4, and so is the state charge is an M4. They're the same oh, okay. degree, here, um, just but one's under the city and one's in the yeah, state. It's not any worse. It's just that you have two. It's not worse. All right. Okay. So that's it. So that's the option. Same thing as before. You can leave, period, or you can just go right here. Okay. That's fine. With your citations or get arrested. Okay. And if we go to that point, then obviously we'll, you'll get arrested. You'll physically get arrested and physically go down to jail. So that's that's kind of okay. where we are now. All right. So, and like I said, we don't want to arrest anybody, but we will. It's no big deal for us. But right. if it were me, you know, like I said, you can make statements from here, which I think is a good route. Kind of appeases you, appeases him, and, and we go. But that's up to you. So, okay. ball's in your court. All right. Great. Okay. Thank you. Are you willing to leave his property? No, I think we're going to stay. Okay. So you both understand now that we're going to we'll cite you with criminal the state code of criminal trespassing, and then you'll be arrested, brought down to Franklin County Jail. Yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead and turn around for me. We'll get you Security cuffed up. Okay. Go ahead and lay your finger for me. Any shoulder, shoulder, uh, I got arthritis all through my body. All right, and I hit the listen, you've, you've been great. Hip replacement on my right. I'm gonna get you. I don't have a second cuff on me, but I'll get you a second one if the shoulders are bothering you. I don't have it on me right now, but we'll get you one, okay? These are loose. I can get my yeah. index finger in here. They're oh. good. I know it's metal, so it's not gonna be that comfortable, but you know, you know what I mean. Yep. You're good. All right, you have anything? Trouble?